Time now for Going for the Green, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Let's welcome in golf bet lead, Will Gray. Will, envious of your office this week, man. I mean, it is perfect out there. It is a pretty good spot to uh, hang out this week for sure, Ned. Good to be with you, and let's talk some bets. Yep, I like to win. Nobody likes to lose. You're the man who has all the information. So let's start with who's going to win. This is an easy pick for you, right? Who's winning this week? Yeah, no pressure. Just tell me who's going to win the tournament, right, on Wednesday morning. So, uh, listen, I, I really like Colin Morikawa at plus 1,800 this week at DraftKings Sportsbook. And, and let me tell you why. This is a place where you can kind of hide if you're not the best putter on the PGA Tour. This is a ball strikers course. Each of the last nine winners at Harbortown have been inside the top 11 strokes gain tee to green. Five of those were inside the top three. Colin Morikawa, one of the best ball strikers on the PGA Tour, but he's taking a step back in 2024. He was fourth tee to green last season, all the way down to 38th before last week. But I think he found something at the Masters that T3 finish really probably got him going. And so I think that this is a situation where what would his price be if Scotty Scheffler wasn't in the field? It would be much shorter than plus 1800. I think there's some value in that number on a guy who really should fit this course well. Okay. I can, I can get on board with that, but I have to ask you, why no Patrick Cantlay? His record around here is sterling. He's got a second and a third in the last couple of years. So why not Patrick Cantlay? Maybe the wounds for me haven't healed yet because I did have Patrick Cantlay at Riviera and he couldn't get it done on Sunday. But but listen, if we're looking at markets and how odds makers price in this information, Patrick Cantlay's run at Harbortown is already priced into his outright number. And I, I don't think that the odds makers have necessarily caught up to Colin Morikawa and his recent run last week. So I think that that's why there could be a little bit more value from an outright perspective in Morikawa than Patrick Cantlay. You see, folks, that's why you listen to Will Gray. It's the nuances of what we're doing here. I don't like to spend a lot of money, Will. I'm always looking for that good value to kind of buy one, get one free when I'm at the grocery store. So give me a value pick for the week. Yeah, the long shot market, you can do worse than JT Poston. He's plus 5,500 at DraftKings Sportsbook, a North Carolina guy playing here in South Carolina, and he has gone red hot at Harbortown on the weekend. He's made the cut three times here, finished inside the top eight each of those times. His scoring average on the weekend is 66. Last time I checked, there's no cut this week. He's going to be around all four rounds. This is a place where JT Poston tends to get better as the week continues. He has cooled a little bit since that really strong start to the season, but I I think that coming off a, a solid week at the Masters, this could be a place where he could once again go low. And I really think if he's in the mix through 36 holes, maybe someone to look at for a live play or in, in the outright market from an in-play perspective. He always closes well on Sunday. Okay, now head-to-head, -head, and I hear you've had a very interesting selection here, so lay it on me. All right, I'm going to try and get through this without getting struck by lightning, but I'm going to try and fade Scotty Scheffler. I think that the odds makers are getting a little aggressive with how they're pricing the Masters champion. He's at plus 6,500, 65 to 1 at DraftKings Sportsbook to win the Grand Slam this year. That's kind of where things are with the state of Scheffler. But you can get Xander Shoffley at plus 160 in a head-to-head -head matchup with Scotty Scheffler. I really like Xander this week. I think he's one of the best players in the field. He's second in tee to green. We talked so much about how that's important here. He's coming off an eighth place finish at the Masters was T4 here last year. There's a lot to like about Xander. Now listen, he hasn't won in about two years. I'm not really bullish on him winning, but I pretty pretty much like the fact that he could finish, let's say T6, T7, and that might be enough to beat Scotty Scheffler at a really juicy price in this head-to-head. -head. Remember, you got to go back to 2006 and Tiger Woods, the last time a player won a major, teed it up the next week, and won that week. I think we're asking a lot of Scheffler, given everything that's going on, after slipping into that green jacket, he's got baby watch with Mary back home. I think that there's value to be had in being strategic in how you fade Scotty Scheffler this week. He said it. Will Gray said it. Not, not <laughs> me, folks. He's, he's shorting Scotty Scheffler. He's fading the number one player in the world. But he may be right. You never know. Let's have a little fun. Give me a couple of bets that we might be able to just sprinkle a little something on. How much are we buying into momentum here, Ned? I, I really like what I saw out of Tom Kim for one round last week at the Masters. It was a final round 66. Listen, there's, there's no doubt about the fact that it's been a struggle in 2024 for Tom Kim. He has not been as good as he's been in the last couple of years, but I think he might have turned it around in a big way on Sunday at Augusta National. So you can get his round one over under 69 and a half. You're paying minus 105 at DraftKings Sportsbook for that. But I think he's going to be able to parlay his success on Sunday at Augusta 
Augusta into a really strong start here at Harbortown. I'm not sure that I'm buying into him for a 72 hole situation because he's still somewhat volatile in the scoring. But I really think that this is a place. Remember, it's a par 71. You've got three par five. So you only got to go two under to cash that under 69 and a half for Tom Kim round one. I think that's a good return. I am all over this. I love it. He's also just reconnected with his original swing coach. So a little bit better organized right now for Tom Kim's game. Hey, Will, thanks a lot for your time. Always uh, appreciate your knowledge. Good, sir. Yep, good to be with you, Ned. DraftKings Sportsbook is an official sports betting partner of the PGA Tour. And this week, new customers can bet $5 and pocket 200 in bonus bets instantly. Download the app and use promo code RANGE when you sign up. DraftKings Sportsbook, the crown is yours. Time now for Fantasy Four, presented by DraftKings. I am alongside Billy Kratzer and Brendan DeYoung, who together have played in 14 editions of this event, each having a top 10. But gentlemen, before we get your picks, let's go through the rules. Let's make sure we actually understand what we're doing here in our Fantasy Four. You're gonna select six players, and you have to lock them in by the first tee time, not their tee time, the first tee time of the day. You'll have 50,000 in fantasy funds to spend and all kinds of scoring and points, player per hole, finishes, streaks, aces. You can lose points too, though, if you make bogeys and doubles, so choose wisely. Take a look at some notable players and their salaries. Of course, Scotty Scheffler, Rory McIlroy. If you're not picking Patrick Cantlay here this week, folks, what are you doing? This man has dominated this place. He hasn't won yet, but you got to think he's pretty close to getting in the winner's circle here. Last couple of years, a third place and a runner up. All right, no pressure. But let's go ahead and get to the top picks, Billy. I'm going to go with Ludwig Oberg, uh, simply because January 2023, he was ranked outside 3,000 in the world. He is now number seven. He's had two runner ups. He finished runner up last week at the Masters. Had the opportunity to follow him at the players. Very impressed. Uh, I mean, the young man, he drives it straight there and plays good. But what's even better is the demeanor on the golf course. Doesn't get rattled. Playing a golf course for the first time, not an issue. Love Oberg. Well, you can look at Shatoshi Kodaira in 2018. He won here on debut. So it can, can be done. All right, Brennan, what, what did you pick? Who do you think is going to win this thing straight out? I love Tommy Fleetwood. Tommy's going to win at some point soon. I think this is the week. Absolutely studly with the driver. Second best driving accuracy on tour. You have to drive it straight at Hilton Head. Comes in in some pretty good form too. T7 at Valero, T3 at the Masters. I think Tommy's primed to get that first win. If he gets the putter going, you always got to look out for Tommy. Value picks, we all like a good value. Who are you going with, Billy? I'm going to go with Chris Kirk, uh, simply because he hasn't been out of the tour top 10 since he won the century. So he's just kind of stayed there. He's very familiar with this golf course. He has an elite short game. He never gets ahead of himself. He's another one of those players that just kind of stays in the moment. So I like Chris Kirk. Huh? Surprise, Georgia Bulldog picked by <laughs> yeah. a Georgia Bulldog. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan, you and I like a good value. Who are you going with? I like Akshay Batia. Again, really good form. One, two weeks ago in Valero. He's a guy that loves to hit shots, loves to shape it. And, I mean, you've got to use your imagination around Hilton Head. He is an artist, especially when he gets the wedges in his hands around the green, which is so important. I think I might go with that one, Billy. Sorry. Nothing against George Bulldogs. That's all right. <laughs> I get it. All right. Take a look. Let's just have a recap so we all know exactly who you pick so it's documented. Oberg, Fleetwood, Kirk, and Batia. And the salary is provided by DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. DraftKings Sportsbook is an official Daily Fantasy Sports partner of the PGA Tour. And this week, new customers can play free for your share of millions in prizes with your first deposit. Download the DFS app and use promo code RANGE when you sign up. DraftKings, the crown is yours.